The Skinwalker Ranch is a section of land approximately 480 square acres in size, just southeast of Ballard, Utah. Over the years, countless stories of paranormal activity, encounters with strange animals, UFOs and even animal mutations have been reported from within the ranch. Some of these experiences ranked as some of the most compelling paranormal events ever recorded. The Utes, an old Native American tribe, fought to expel the Navajo from the Skinwalker Basin shortly before the arrival of white settlers. The Navajo would retreat from the basin, but not before cursing the ranch with the presence of a shape-shifting demon. The Myers family settled in the ranch in 1905, making a small homestead on the property. Although they didn't ever publicly report strange creatures or occurrences, they would abruptly abandon their newly built property some short years later, opting to quietly and quickly move far away. When the Sherman family moved to the ranch in 1994 to breed cattle, they were startled by the impressive array of bolts that covered the doors and windows of the main house. Recalling a 2002 quote, there were dead bolts on both sides of the doors. Even the kitchen cabinets had bolts on them, and at both ends of the house, iron stakes and heavy chains had been installed. We guessed the previous tenants had positioned large guard dogs in the front and back of the home, but at the time we had no idea why it wouldn't be long before they would understand. Within a few days of moving in, their livestock started being visited by vicious, strange creatures apparently immune to harm. The Shermans would get a good look at one of these beasts, reporting that it appeared to be a large wolf. When shot with a rifle, the bullets had no effect. Only when blasted several times with a large shotgun would the creature desist from sadistic attack upon their cattle. Other reports from the Sherman's time on the ranch included shafts of light rising like pillars from the ground, fields mysteriously lighting up like stadiums. Massive, semi-visible, shapeless entities also terrorized the family, and multiple people often simultaneously heard a deep, incomprehensible, disembodied voice speaking to them seemingly from above. Strange disturbances in their home left the family with no safe place eventually opting to all sleep huddled together on the floor of one room. The final straw was when Terry Sherman sent his three dogs to chase glowing blue orbs into the woods, all subsequently being killed by the spheres. Cattle mutilations have also been a large part of the folklore of the surrounding area for decades. They became so frequent, in fact, the National Institute for Discovery Science's founder, Robert Bigelow, purchased the land in 1996. His purchase was with the intentions to undertake extensive investigations within the ranch, an investigation mysteriously funded, which to this day has been a literal media blackout, even closing down a public road running through the vicinity. A move objected by the locals, you have to wonder what they found. Since the moment of the purchase, no subsequent activities within the ranch have been reported or even admitted to the National Institute for Discovery Sciences maintaining a complete denial of any new events upon the ranch to this day. Not only has a multi-million dollar operation been undertaken within the ranch, but whatever they found, it seems they decided would be better withheld from the general public. As always, thanks for watching guys. Until next time, take care.